Okay, everybody, welcome back to, oh, I can't even get my coffee cup under there, I don't think. I'm really zoomed in because we're going to color in the Game of Thrones color book. So I hope we're going to be zoomed in good enough, well enough, for you to see some of this page. And let me preface it by saying I've not seen the shows. I've not watched any of the series. I've not read the books. I have no idea what colors they're supposed to be. I'm going to do it whatever I want because I'm the boss of my color book. <laughs> but first, we're going to start off. I want to say thank you to Sharon L. Um, and she sent me some happy mail and she said, hello, Dee Dee. I'm sending some, she's sending me some stamps so that you can keep sending out cards to make someone's day and bring a smile to their face. It's like getting a hug via snail mail. Thank you so much for all the inspiration and enabling that you have given me. You truly are an amazing and wonderful artist in person. See you on the next stream. Take care, Sharon L. Who, by the way, we cannot figure out who she, what her nickname is. So Sharon L, please forgive all of us for not knowing who you, your nickname is on Ustream. So, but she sent, look at this, is awesome. I love this card. So she sent first, gotta love arting with your favorite beverage. And it has this little pocket here. And then on this side, she's got all the different tea bags and teas and she made these little teacups out of like the packaging the packaging of um teas and she has the little tea you know the little uh tea tags hanging off it isn't that so cute but then she sent me she made a little like a a little coffee cup and she put a little sleeve on it and she sent like six or seven, I think set six or seven, three, four, five, seven books of stamps. She definitely wants to keep us sending cards. So thank you so much, Sharon L. And I will be writing her back. And uh, yeah, so she wants to keep us in sending cards. Isn't that adorable? Love it. And so... You know, it came like this, and then on the other side was all the tea. So it was the tea and the coffee. I know. So thank you so much, Sharon, for the nice letter, too. And I feel terrible. I cannot know her name. Uh, her nickname, I mean. Her nickname. I know. So thanks again. I will be writing her. She says she's, on, she's here on streams. So, you know, we have like four Sharons, but it's none of those Sharons. So somehow I'm missing something or something. So anyway, her last, no, Carrie, it is, hang on guys. So anyway, now I know. Okay, so thank you, Sharon, so much for that. And I will be sending you back some happy mail. Okay, I wanted to do a giveaway real quick. And so we are going to, because it's Christmas season, Christmas season, we're going to do a giveaway. I might flash out here, but this is one of Miss Martha's prints that she sent in the little mat. It's all wrapped up in plastic and everything. So we're going to do a giveaway real quick for all y'all sticking around. This is our third recording today. <laughs> so uh, uh, I'll upload them all to YouTube in a little while. So, okay. So I'm going to do the usual thing here, and let me just take a minute. Uh, let me find a little pen and stuff here. All right, so we are going to do between, don't do anything yet. Everybody just sit back, sit back for just a minute. But I'm going to, when you see me type in the word go, put in a number between 1 and 100, 
and I will bring up random.org. Okay, and we and it can be international. It'll just fit in a flat envelope. I'll mail it out to you. It's so uh, that's fine. Now, if it gets lost in the mail, I can't do anything about that. Okay. I, I will ship this international, but, you know, if something happens, I can't, you know, it is what it is. I can't replace Miss Martha's print here. So, um, yeah. All right. So, let me go to my random.org and get it ready. I'm not going to, I'm not going to generate, I'm not going to generate a number until everybody puts a number in. Okay, there we go. Okay, so, and I know there's a lag, so I've tried to just, you know, say it and wait about 30 seconds or a minute before I do anything because I know there's a lag. So I'm going to type in the word go. When you see me type in the word go, put a number between 1 and 100, one number only. The closest, without going over, will I will send Miss Martha's print to you for Christmas. So thanks everybody for being here. <laughs> I know, isn't she adorable? So Miss Martha shared some of her prints with us and a whole stack of cards. And uh, so, yeah. Okay. Okay, so everybody put in a number and we'll give you plenty of time. Plenty of time to put in a number. I got my coffee. Got my coffee. <laughs> I'm really zoomed in, guys. The reason I'm really zoomed in is because so that you can see when I start coloring this. Okay. I'll give you plenty of time. And uh, then when I type in the word stop, then we'll stop the chat and find um, who... I'll, I'll generate a number. I haven't generated a number yet, so everybody putting in their number, so I have no clue what the number's going to be yet. Between 1 and 100 without going over, one number only. It's always the same way. It's always the same way. So, what's Janet oopsing about? Yeah, Janet, 338 will not count. If you want to put in another number, Janet, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, I know. They're all awesome, aren't they? Okay, I'm just going to give everybody another 30 seconds or so so you can hear the sound of my voice. <laughs> so, all right, I'm not seeing any more numbers. Not seeing any more. Okay. All right, put in a number, Twinster. Put in a number between 1 and 100. If you just got off the phone and didn't hear, put in a number. Last call for a number between 1 and 100. Yeah, I'll wait till she puts that number in, and then I'll type stop. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. So now we're going to, I know it's going to flash out, but we're going to do this here. Let's go ahead and bring up, all right, between, ooh, so close to the, okay, so here we go, ready, we're going to hit generate, we're going to hit generate, and the number is 54, 54, so whoever got closest to 54 without going over, and now I've got to refocus my camera, let's see here. Okay, I think it's still focused, hopefully. So everybody can go double check the first person. Got to scroll all the way back to the beginning. And the first person closest to 54 without going over. Everybody is Carrie and Vicky helping me. I don't know if Vicky's still here. Vicky's still here? Yeah, she is. 
I'm scrolling too. Scrolling, scrolling. I see a 50, is that a 56? Am I seeing that right? Yeah, I see Satin Doll is 54. Satin Doll is 54 at the very beginning or toward the very beginning. I'm looking, I'm trying to keep my scroll locked. Hang on. Is there, a, I see a 54, no, she's 56. Okay, we have to be under 54. Okay, I'm trying guys, I'm trying. All right, Mary and G. Did Mary and G get it? She, Mary and whoever's closest to 54 without going over. So Marion had 47. Is that right? Y'all double check for me. Am I right? Is it Mary and G? Okay, so Mary and G. All right. So Mary Yan, M G, you're gonna get one of, you're gonna get uh, Miss Martha's print, We're all wrapped in plastic nicely. Okay, are we good? Are we good? Okay, you can't believe it. Okay. <laughs> all right, and I have other happy mail that I'll be sending out toward the end of the week after I get back from Denise's. <clears throat> so yeah because I'll be gone for I'm going to go to Denise's tomorrow I think so but I do have a bunch of happy mail to get done <clears throat> this week along with my Christmas cards my personal family Christmas cards yeah Jean said I'll watch you do Christmas cards she didn't understand she I meant addressing them <laughs> Thanks, Lynn. Thanks, guys, for double-checking for me. This, I scroll back, but it keeps popping and popping for me, so, and I, I'm lucky just to have it stay steady. Okay, so we are looking at the Game of Thrones coloring book, and I just, I'm really dropped the camera really low and zoomed in, so hopefully we're focusing up. Now, again, I will not finish this page today. I will not finish it, but I thought I would just start a little bit. I have no plans. I have no idea. I don't know the colors of the their uh, thrones, you know, their family crest or their colors or any of that. I have no clue. I will be coloring them any color I want. This is Sir Loras. I have no idea if he has blonde hair, brown hair, um, and, you know, what red hair. I might put red hair on him. I have no idea. But I, it, that's not going to matter to me because I'm the boss of my color book. <laughs> I'm going to color it whatever color I want, okay? So if you are a Game of Thrones aficionado, have read all the books, seen all the shows, and you know the shades and hues mm. of every one of their outfits, don't email me. Oh, okay, so Jesus, well, you could just make a, a Christmassy art card and put a, it into a card base. I could do that for you, Miss Jean. I'll try, I'll try to do that for you, Jean. I will, you know what I should do? I will make some Christmas art cards, you know, just my, like, my little collage cards, Jean, and some, like, Christmassy colors or some snow or something, and put up, stick them on a base, and Miss Jean will get a Christmas card from me. Yes. i got to write it down, though, because I'll forget. <laughs> Miss Sassy Pants gets a Christmas art card. Uh, yeah, so here we go. I'm just going to, now I could do some washes on this, but it's very tiny. I'm not sure if I want to do maybe a, some part of a wash on it or use some markers. I'm tempted to go with the markers. Or, you know what, I'm tempted also to do 
I'm also tempted to go with, instead of washes of acrylic paint, which is the best to put color pencil over, I'm thinking we're going to go with Neo Colors. So let's see if I can get under Neo Colors and markers. We're going to go with Neo Colors and markers. So let's get out, and I'm trying not to bump the camera. So, so you see how zoomed in we are here. So we're going to go with some Neo Colors. And again, these are Neo Color 2 water soluble crayons. They are not cheap. Hubster got them for me for Chris, I mean for my birthday. I think going on three years, only three years in February, he got these for me. And you and you can hardly tell I've used them. Now I don't use them like I do my color pencils, granted, but they're so pigmented, they last forever. And you can buy them individually. And there are sets bigger than this one's 84. And there's even, I think Carrie, didn't you get the 120 or 30 or 50 or something? So, yeah, you like to challenge me, Jean. Yeah, sassy pants. Okay, so let me find a water brush here. Let's find a water brush that has some water in it. And I'll probably have to fill it up anyway, so. And I, do, I like the Pentel. Oh, and I need a Kleenex. Because Kleenexes are the best for cleaning it off your excess as you go. Uh, I like these. I think they're the Pentel ones. I, I Everybody keeps saying, yeah, I think it's a Pentel. Yeah, it's a Pentel one. Yeah, I see it on there. Okay. But these kind of, the barrel shape like this, they have good firm um, points. And I think there's like two or three different sizes. I think this is the medium. I want to get the fine one as well. But these are perfect for using. Got something on that one. Um, perfect for using your Neo Color. Uh, water soluble again neo color too <laughs> yay me <laughs> Jean. and uh, so i'm just going to kind of slide these right over here i don't want to shadow so let's move them over a little even a little more i don't want to shadow on the page let's see here let me have to move some stuff over move my mouse move my pens okay so what I'm going to do is I am going to do some washes. I have no, no idea what colors I'm going to do or what. Okay, that's going to bug me because I can't slide the book around with that on top of it. So let me move some more stuff. Let's move that some more. Let's see, I'll just have to put that on top. There we go. Okay. We're so zoomed in here that I have to... Uh, there. Okay. If you have any questions, put them in caps. You spoiled yourself. <laughs> yes, you did spoil yourself. How many were there? Carrie, I missed it. There's a lot. She got a lot. All right, so I'm going to just kind of look this over. I know, for instance, I want the belt to be brown. So kind of a sienna brown. Now, there's different ways you can use these. Okay, I'm going to try to keep my light kind of going here because it will have a tendency to get dark and flash out in my camera. You can color in and then wet wet the pigment, okay? But when I'm doing something, especially this detail, what I'll do is I'll just pull, just pull a little bit. Oh, guys, I'm trying not to have a shadow. <laughs> Try not to have a shadow on here. And then what I'll do is just color like that. Now you want to kind of keep your Kleenex over your handy so that you can dab off excess paint or water because it will, it's going to, you know, it'll, it'll come out really fast if you squeeze it at all. So you want to be kind of careful. So I'm just going to kind of do a little base. Again, this, this book is pretty thick paper compared to some. But I'm still not going to want to sat. I'm not going to want to sit here and go over and over and over. A lot of water. I'm just going to want to kind of do a wash here with the with the color. I hope I'm not talking too loud because the camera is right in my face, and I know it's probably sounds loud. And then I will dry this with a heat gun. If you don't have a heat gun, use a hair dryer. Just wait till it's dry because you don't want to use color pencil over a wet anything paint watercolor, marker, no color pencil 
over a wet area. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of, and even though this little area in there is going to be darker, I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of, you know, kind of do my best to find the areas. And then we'll go back in with color pencils for sh more shading. Or you could do the whole thing with just neo colors if you don't want to use any color pencils. Just keep, you know, layering it up. But my suggestion would be, because it is a color book, you know, they're not like watercolor paper. My suggestion would be if you want to do more layers to dry that completely, dry this completely, before you start adding more and more layers like you would a watercolor. Know what I mean, Vern? Yes, I'm using my neo colors. Okay. So, like, if I, let's say I wanted to add a dark brown in there for even more shadow, if I wasn't going to use color pencil, if I wanted to just do the whole thing in watercolor, you could do that. But you need to let those layers dry because just being like a cardstock, it's going to start peeling and pulling up the paper. You can't, this isn't made for lots of water. Okay. Alrighty, so like there's just a little belt there. I just, that was just something that popped right out to me. Okay, so like his, I'm going to use like a nice light gray here for the steel of his blade. And maybe the handle here might be bronze or, I mean, no, no, I'm making it up. All right, so this is kind of a greeny bronze. I think I'm going to go with that. Kathleen and all you that watch the show are probably thinking, oh, I know, guys, I've not seen the show. I have no idea what their family colors and crest and all that are. I have no idea what color their hair or their outfits or anything. Okay, so there's a little bit of some buckles right there. I'm going to get a, I think I'm going to get a different shade of brown, a darker shade of brown. If I'm talking too loud, please tell me, guys, because literally the camera and the microphone is six inches from my face, literally six inches from my face. And I don't want it, I don't want y'all to, you know, be, and some of these areas you wouldn't have to necessarily do with watercolor. I'm just kind of having fun with it. You could go in here with marker or just wait and do it with pencil, whatever, you know. I just like to do a little bit of all of it. So I'm just going to like those, little, you know, little leather, little leather straps to hold. I'm assuming this is some kind of a silver armor with decorations, like embossing. That's what it kind of looks like. It looks like a silver armor layered, and these these are little straps that are holding it on together, holding all this armor together. But I don't know. I might just end up doing flowers on that silver armor. <laughs> yep, yep. So, again, guys, I mean, you know, I'm just coloring the way I want it to look. I don't have any idea what colors they really are. I think I'm going there with just a little in there, a little darker in there, and a little darker in the shadow there. And I'm not getting it sopping wet, so you know, just just take your time. Don't go cray 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 with your water. Okay. And again, I will not be finishing this today. <laughs> I just wanted to, you know, work on it a little bit and. Uh, All right, so I think what I will do is get a darker gray and his, uh, the mail, you know, the armor mail, what do you call it, the, you know, chain link mail. I'm going to put a little too much pigment there. I don't want to lose the, just pulling off some of that pigment because I don't want to lose the little, uh, details in the chain mail. So if it sounds too loud, tell me. Yes, I'm using Neo's Bridgeton. 
Yeah, Neo 2s. He's from the House of Flowers. Yes, well, I see these banners back here. Don't tell me what colors they are because I don't want to have to do it by what they're supposed to be because then I want to do them all like this. Oh, sorry, I'm not going to yell. Then I want to do them all like they're supposed to be and I don't want to have to worry about it. Don't make me. Don't make me. <laughs> see, this would be something I'd want to read the books and then not see the show because the show would ruin it. <laughs> the show would probably ruin it for me. Okay, so I'm just going to continue on here in all the areas that have the chain mail. Too much pigment. I mean, these are so highly concentrated. You just barely, I mean, I've just barely touched the tip of that, and it'll, you know, it'll just cover a whole big area. <laughs> yes, here, here's the, I'll read the bit of the story that's, it's, that's right next to it for you guys. Sir Loris was the youngest son of Mace Tyrell, and if I pronounce it wrong, I just don't email me. Sir Loris was the youngest son of Mace Tyrell, the Lord of High Garden and Warden of the South. At 16, he was the youngest rider on the field, yet he had unhorsed three knights of the King's Guard that morning in his first three joust. Sansa had never seen anyone so beautiful. His plate was intricately fashioned and enameled as a bouquet of a thousand different flowers, and his snow-white stallion was draped in a blanket of red and white roses. Well, his stallion's not here. It might be on another page, but um, yeah. So here's his chain, his, you know, his uh, armor, and it, you can see it's got all kinds of little embossing-like stuff on it. Now, whether it's in color or not, I'm, I'm assuming if it was like, supposed to like true to some kind of uh, armor that is just like embossed and not really colors on the metal but I'm going to put color on the metal okay <laughs> oh I'm not rain <laughs> okay um so let's see if there's any more chain mail I might have missed okay oh there looks like a little bit of a strap right there so let's get the brown back out there's a couple like little straps holding some other areas on here. So I'm making it brown because I want it to be leather. But No, I'm not stressing. It's too fun. Okay, and then there's a couple more areas. I'm trying to stay, hopefully, brightened up enough. more little leather holder thingies with this I mean gosh if one of these leather straps broke his whole his whole outfit would just probably drop off <laughs> yeah it's a Game of Thrones color book guys <laughs> this whole you know it would just like just all just drop right to the floor <laughs> uh, okay let's see if there's any other little bits of leather strap maybe right there maybe holding the chain mail right there okay and I'm not sure what this is I think that would probably be wrapped with leather as well let's get a nice dark dark brown because this would probably be you know really worn leather and so we'll probably have it uh, you know really make sure and get that nice and dark when I uh, color pencil anything in there and again you don't have to color pencil or marker you know there's some little areas in here I'm just gonna really enjoy this one 
um, without, well, I'm going to enjoy them all, but I, I don't want to um, have to try to hurry, you know, is when I say I want to enjoy it. I mean, I don't want to have to rush through. I just want to take my time. Some cooler. A little bit more shadow under those areas. So you can see I'm kind of shading a little bit with the color pencil, but you got to make sure, I mean the water, uh, neo colors, but make sure that those areas are dry before you start going over and over and over and over with water. Can you see? How's it look? Can you all see okay? Make me want to order this one. Yes, you need another color book, Angie. You do. You need another one. <laughs> all right, so I think right along the edge here, I want it I'm trying to do as much as I can with the color with the uh, neo color twos. I want to keep saying that because the water soluble ones are the twos. Okay. All right. Now I know as soon as I put some blonde hair on him, we're gonna say he has he has a different color hair. But we're going with the blonde. I think we'll go with the golden, like a. a uh, yellow ochre color. So I'm just going to put a wash of yellow ochre. We'll go in there and shade and stuff in, uh, later. But I'm going to make him have yellow golden hair. Okay. It was either that or red. That was my, that was the choices I wanted. So it's just fun to kind of lightly watercolor them. And then we can go back in with markers in some of the tiny little areas or um, color pencil or both. Just doing a nice wash. To start with. And there are a few little hairs that are kind of like coming off like that. And I probably shouldn't be coloring them now before I color the background. But just so you can kind of see them there. Same for this side. Color book in me. <laughs> Bridgman. <laughs> I love the characters developing in different ways. Some start out as bad guys, and everything there, everything is sorted except water pencils. Like I'll try to do. Um, and yeah, I don't bundle my ink tints. I don't bundle my neo color twos <coughs> because, or my um, luminance set that. E-T-E-E -E gave me, Eileen gave me, because they're so expensive. And I, I mean, I know I fuss at Jean because Jean has a, Jean's live in a house that could, is like a, to me, a house of cards. So I keep those, uh, the ink tints, the Neo Color 2s, and any, like the Illuminance color pencils. I don't bundle those like I do, you know, my color pencils, my Prisma colors and other color pencils. Is it getting a little dark right there? I don't know, guys. Y'all have to kind of keep me, you know, I can't put that light facing anymore in my face. But I can brighten it a little. So if y'all need me to, let's see. Let me hit the little bit of brighter here. I don't know how. Okay, no comment, so I guess we're good. All right, so you can see we've got these little tiny hairs that kind of come out there. So the chat is now talking about the plot of Game of Thrones. Not going to look. Not going to look. I would like to read the books, i got to say. I'd probably like the books. All right, now I think... These might be some kind of a purple iris. 
but I really want them to be tulips. <laughs> I want them to be tulips. I want them to be fluffy, you know, those fluffy tulips. They might supposed to be, I think I'm going to go with tulips. So we're going to go with a deep red. I can't see the colors from the fights. I can't move this closer to me. Uh, oh, let me turn this around. I think I want them to be kind of, a, I don't want them to be too brown, though. I'd rather go a little more on the orangey side. That's too orange. That might be too pink. I can't see the color. Dang. That's going to be too pink. Mm -hmm. That's going to be too brown, I think. That one's going to be probably too purple. That's too purple. Let's see. Well, it might have to be a little bit on the brown side. What's this one called? Oh, I don't have my mag light that Jean told me to download. Um, it says... I can't read it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I would, I would uh, read the books. I don't know about uh, the show. I'm just going to do a base. These are kind of a more pink than red than I want them to be. So I might have to go back in there with a little bit of brown. Well, not brown, but a sienna to kind of tone down that pink. Or I could do it with color pencil. So I'm just going to find all the same kinds of flowers. I think that's a baby one there. That would be that would be called a bud. A baby flower would be called a bud. <laughs> oh, look, it's a baby flower. <laughs> so I'm just pulling off the color. I keep, I think I keep moving off camera there, but. And I'm not squeezing out any excess water. It's just kind of like what's flowing off the tip. And I have a Kleenex right here dabbing off excess. All right, I think that one there. Dang, yep, Vicky. <laughs> Baby flower sounds cuter. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a lot of people that love it. I want to read the books first. That's just me. Okay. There's some kind of little lilies in there. But I think I got all what I'm calling the tulips. I come across another one, I won't deal with it. Now there are these little like yellow buttercups. I'm going to get those painted in. I'm just starting with the largest flowers here and just putting a base coat. It's not like the final coloring of it. It's just the base coat. Go back in there with pencils or more neo colors to shade. Just base coating, enjoying the process. Enjoying the process. Oh, that's not one. Where's another? I found someone over here. It's like a little game. Let's see if you can find it. Oh, that to me is a tulip right there. Let's go back to that. This is not the color. This is the, this is the color. I forgot what color I was using now. There's one right there on the edge. Okay. Okay. Yeah, there's one there, and there's one there. Okay, I think I'll do a little bit of green. And I like, I'm going to leave those daisies. I'm just going to probably shade those daisies a little and leave them white. Although, I think in the middle, let's go ahead and do the middles of the daisies. Kind of an orange. Just... I want you to have nothing to do. And you want to have nothing to do. <laughs> Sarah, Sarah goes, 
color. The flowers aren't supposed to be that color. <laughs> Sarah, do you want to be banned, Sarah? <laughs> oh, okay. I just want to pick up the big daisies and just put the centers in them. Because I want them to be, I think I'm going to have them be uh, white with just a little hint of blue shadows on them. Oh, there's another little yellow buttercup way back there. Where'd it go? Oh, there. Okay, and I think these little, I'm going to make those little, like, not morning glories, bluebells, little bluebells. Okay, here's another daisy. Your coffee's probably kicking in. Your sass is waking up. <laughs> we can tell, Sarah. Oh, your sass is waking up. All right. Let's see. Oh, here's one more little daisy right there. This is just the centers. Okay. Now, I'm going to get back to him in a minute. I just felt like doing a couple of flowers. Let's do the bluebells. And I'm just going to start with a nice, I don't know if I wanted this tealy, but no, I want a more, yeah, I want a more blue, almost a purple, you know, I might have a purple highlight on, there we go, that's what I want. So I'm going to do these little blue bells, shh, real quietly. Get back in your corner, Sarah. A little excess there. But picking out some of these areas like this will help me define where other things are. Because, like, those flowers right there are on the inside of his robe, I mean, his robe, his cape. <coughs> So I want to make sure that I distinguish those from any of the garden flowers. You've never been banned before. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Maybe the top of this one. And there's another one right there. Okay. some over here all right so the tops of this one does kind of come up in there I'm not sure if those are some of them or not opened up more maybe or is that a different flower well we're gonna go with it I'm just gonna kind of tap tap on a little bit of blue I don't know I think that's a different flower but we're gonna go with the light blue on that one okay so over here, this needs, I should do, I should have done this as an ASMR. I should have. I'm too loud to do an ASMR. Okay. Looking around, using this as a little pointer. All right, cut a little bit there, and I think these are going to be those purple um, lavender. I forget what those kind of flowers are that hang those hangy kind of flowers. So I think I'm going to go with the lavendery purple thing and just kind of give it all a wash, and then I'll go back in and pick out some of the individual little bits. They're probably more blue than purple, but we're going to go with purple. Those hangy-downy purple thingies. <laughs> Whatever 
got flowers. <laughs> okay. ASMR stands for, and I wrote it down because we always forget the exact name of it. Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. And there are those videos, if just look, just put in ASMR and you'll see it on YouTube. And they're, they're videos that do sounds. They're sound based and people talk real quiet and they'll crunch their papers or, you know, you know, do their, uh, make sounds with their. And they can be relaxing. It depends on what they ASMR. Uh, like, I like art supplies, but the person has to be, like, their voice has to be just right for me. Because, you know, otherwise it's not relaxing. But like, oops, like I said, I talk too loud to do that. <laughs> one of those I think okay y'all quit drinking in the chat <laughs> y'all gonna be rolling around drunk while we're coloring the Game of Thrones stop it stop it <laughs> okay those thistles those thistles are kind of I think they're this blue too I'm gonna have to do them a different shade of blue though than the bluebells I think I'll do these thistles like a purpley blue I'm gonna do these little thistles I'm sure there's more thistles thistles not that anybody's gonna know if I get color one wrong right Except Sarah. <laughs> wisteria? Yeah, Wisteria. That's what it is. Wisteria. Thank you, Trina. That's what I was thinking of. Wisteria. Um, that's the wrong color. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Those silly ocean. No, I don't do that. Like, yeah, I like the ones. Yeah, Jean's talking about when she gets massages, they have ocean sounds and stuff. No, this is people, like, taking their supplies what is it called again? What is what called again? Sorry, Sandy Chick. What is what called again? I could listen to you all day. Oh, no. You know whose voice is soothing. That's Carrie. If you've never gone to one of I, Carrie, you love streams or, or recorded up to YouTube, that is a voice that will put you to sleep. Although Jean sleeps at mine, so something about my voice puts some people to sleep. Thistles are pinky purple. Thank you, Rain. Now they're purple. We have purple thistles, and I don't see any more over here. All right, now I think I will take a little bit of green. Let's take a pretty green. Let's take a pretty green here and do a few of, maybe a few of these major, that's too dull. I want a brighter green. That's too dull. I want a little bit. There we go. Oh, it might be too blue. Oh, I want a blue green. Um, the olive is good. We'll go with the olive. We'll go with the olive. Because we're going to shade them out anyway with other colors. <clears throat> when Sarah's not here to tell me what's wrong. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> ah, Jean said she can sleep at any one stream. Okay, Jean. <laughs> All right. So I want some of these longer... Uh, the waxy kind of leaves here. Well, I don't know if they're actually waxy or not. And I know I'm not a botanist. I know there's different kinds of leaves with different kinds of names. I know my mom's probably going to want to get this color book now when she watches my show. I haven't seen RB Sweet Lady lately. I tease her. She that that's what would be a name my mom would pick. Even though I know it's not her, I just pretend. I pretend it's my mom here watching me. She watches my recordings. She doesn't she doesn't sit and do this. She won't sit and watch them for hours. I even slept through one of your own streams. <laughs> Jean. Jean such a on my own streams and didn't wake up even though I, were you were you were you live, Jean? You weren't live, were you? Oh my gosh, that is funny, Jean. I hope you weren't live. 
like, you know, recording and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, Jean. I would fall asleep in my own recordings. I'm just kind of blocking in some of these green flower areas down here. We'll do a background. We'll get some bigger areas in a minute, guys. But I mean, these are detailed, and y'all did ask. You did ask. This is by request. If you're watching this recording, coloring the Game of Thrones coloring book page was by request. So don't email me. <laughs> don't give me a thumbs down for doing something so tiny. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I won't do those stems with the. I'll do the stems with a pencil or a marker. We got markers too. I kind of want. But I do need to check to make sure. That the, the, the markers that I have, the, the Crayola Super Tip ones, won't go through. All right, so let's see. I haven't checked this book out for uh, quality control. Okay. Oh, here's a couple more leaves over here. Let's get those in the corner. i got to go eat before Jean stream. <clears throat> It's almost time for me to make dinner. I've had a handful of peanuts. Monday's my stream day. I don't really get hungry while I'm streaming because I'm so into it. All right, I think that's good. Now I got to decide. Do I want how, um, you know, because it would look really awesome with a really dark, dark green. And I think I'll do that with marker in between the backs of these flowers instead of black you know like a dark dark foresty green would look awesome behind all these flowers although i'm gonna have to decide where his cape is and i'm sure sarah's dying to tell me the colors they should be <laughs> thanks sarah i'm sure she's dying to tell me the colors that they should be um i'm tempted to go with you know i know there's probably a lot of other things that are going to be red like red and, you know, I don't know, red and white probably is probably these are supposed to be red and white. I, you know, the uh, flags and his cape. But I'm really tempted to go with like a dark royal blue. So that's what I'll go with. Let's see. Now i got to figure out which blue I want, though. Because some of these blues are very on the purple side. Let me do a test. Let me get a piece of, where's a piece of paper? See, that's very teal. I don't want that. I think in this set, the set, this set, the 84 set, I need to uh, individually buy a couple extra blues and a couple extra reds. They have so many nice subtle colors, but it needs a couple of uh, really, that's purple, Some a couple more basic blues and a couple more basic, um, let's see, I, I just don't have the right blue. How can you have 84 colors and not have a blue, right? I mean, is that even possible? Did I test this? Yeah, that's a purple one. I don't want purple. Oh, good. You can't remember. Okay, good. <laughs> You're going to decorate some glass ornaments today, Jean? I think Sharon L. might just be a YouTube person. But the thing is about, I don't, how would she get my address? I don't think I gave any, anyone. I mean, I could have. Maybe she's on Facebook. Well, Sarah L., forgive us all because we are looking for a nickname that you probably don't have one. <laughs> I'm going to write her. I'm going to send her some happy mail. And I'll look at my Facebook message, messages too. I feel terrible. But, I mean, we have four Sharons at least. And she's none of those. So... Okay, so I'm thinking a royal blue and a royal blue banner with white flowers, but I don't have the right blue, so I'm going to have to go, I'm going to have to say, I'm going to have to go with a marker or some paint. I could do a watered down paint. I think I will do that. 
But now I do not use my uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I do not use my water brushes with my acrylic paint. So I'm going to get out. Do I want Prussian blue or do I want ultramarine? Let me see how pr I think I'm going to want a Prussian blue. Let me squeeze out a little bit and water it down. Do, I don't personally use my water brushes with acrylic paint. I only use them just with water-soluble stuff like this. All right, so let me find a tinier brush. I'm going to put all my brush over in this tray. No, they're not in that tray. They're in this tray. I've got three trays I'm working out of. Let me move all my gel pens. And I know my head just bumped the camera again. And again, oh, sorry. Okay, I just want a tiny brush for it to start. And I just want a little water it down. Let me test this out. There we go. That's kind of it's kind of an indigo blue. That's what I'm looking for, like an indigo. Blend the colors together. Yeah, I do. I have my uh porcelain tray to blend colors with but I'm not in the mood <laughs> Facebook and YouTube but without her name I said in front of me oh oh she is on Facebook and on YouTube but with with her name okay so that's that's okay I'm gonna find I'll find her on Facebook thank you because she said she comes to my Ustream and when she said she came to my Ustream she just might mean she just watches because yeah, so I will go on use on a uh, um, Facebook. Thanks, Carrie. I'll find her. We're on the search for you, Sharon. Just saying, we're tracking you down. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do the inside of his cape here, and this is acrylic, watered down. You can see it. Like, well, you probably can't see it. But I don't want to get it too saturated. Got to be careful because I don't want this to soak through. It'll wrinkle a little and the wrinkling doesn't bother me. Doesn't bother me. It might bother you. You want to test every you want to test every medium you use in your color books on a back page. So it's his robe, his cape or whatever comes all the way down here. It's going to be really dark down in here. And I'll go back and shade with color pencil and all. I just want to kind of find everything. I want to block it in. I want to find all the bits. So I can just imagine a little bit of this cape and a little bit in there. Bye Jeannie! Thanks for coming! Thanks for hanging out guys! I am going to, let me see how long we've been here, what time it is. I am going to be here till it's been here almost an hour, and Jean comes on at four. I'm going to stay for 15 more minutes. So, 15 more minutes. And I probably, guys, I probably won't have time to, let me see, I probably won't have time to do any more this week on this page. Because I got some more other things I have to do, and plus I'm going to go to Denise's, so um, we'll just pick it back up. If I do any more, I'll uh, tell you what I have done. All right, so I'm going to go around these flowers here. Okay. Probably really dark blue inside there, under that little sleeve area, and probably really dark blue under there. I'll make sure I stay in camera. Do a little tiny.
kind of trying to hunt up areas that would be his his cape and I'll go back in there with darker pencil I'm just kind of trying to find them all a little darker in there behind those blue bells So the little watercolory look just gives it a nice little base to work with because it's not flat. Say it looks watercolory. You still stream? I won't be streaming this Wednesday because I'll be doing stuff with Denise. But I do stream occasionally on Wednesday, but I won't be streaming this Wednesday. Don't tell me, Sarah. Sarah's saying she wants to look up what color Loris' coat is. Don't tell me. You go look it up, but keep it to yourself, Missy. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm, I guess it's maybe his cape thing. So I'm just going to keep on. Let me add a little tiny bit more water because I want to color around these flowers on the cape because it's separate from his armor, which I still haven't decided if I want to color armor color or if I want to color to color. Just to tick everybody off that knows what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> I don't mean you, Sarah. Okay, around some of those leaves. This is fun. Y'all need to get this book, I think. And by having lighter and darker shades of the blue around the wrinkles and the folds gives it more realistic look because it, would, it won't all be one solid color. So if I would use like a marker, unless it was a Copic, which would bleed through this paper, uh, just using my you know water-based markers would not give it the depth. So I'm kind of saving the markers for any little tiny little flowers or something, those little tiny... You know, where you're not going to be able to, it wouldn't have a, it would just be one solid color anyway. So I'm just kind of trying to pick out, that looks like another bit of leather right in there. I have to go back and find that. Okay, so that's all his armor. And then his shirt is under the armor. I don't want the shirt the same color. I want it to be a different color. Okay, so I'm thinking that I might have all the blue part. Oops, I need a little bit more in between those leaves right there. Okay. You caught me before I could tell, Suzanne. Oh, did Suzanne say something? Stream. No, I won't be streaming Wednesday. Eli, you got patience? Really? It's so fun, though. It's not really patience, is it? Well, maybe. I think where I have, I need patience is when something's taking a long time that I need to have done quicker. <laughs> so it doesn't matter if it's if it's something I don't have to have done, then I just enjoy the, because I'm a process, I enjoy the process kind of person. But if I have to rush it, that's when I, I get like, uh, I don't like to rush it, you know, my work. But, um, okay, so there we go. All right, so that, it's probably the blue of the cape. Now, I, I'm thinking also, I want these banners that color too. I want his cape to be the same color. Because see the flowers, those flowers in his cape, the same flowers as those. So let me get a little bit bigger brush. And 
and I did bump my head again. Dang. Dang. I mean, I literally have this camera like six inches from the paper. Okay. So we're gonna come over here. We're gonna come over on this side. I'll put the color up here. They're probably supposed to be white with red flowers or something like that. Not that it matters to me. <laughs> and you can't really do much wet into wet here because you can't wet the paper and have it not bleed like you want it to very well because it's not watercolor paper. Just, you know, just barely uh, a version of cardstock. It's not much, I mean, uh, printer paper. So you can't do a whole lot of wet into wet without it. You don't want it soaking through. I don't mind it buckling, but I don't want it soaking through to the next page. So I'm trying to have a light hand with the... I'll go back in here with color pencil and do more shading. All you have done today was made me rethink these so detailed coloring pages. Well, they're fun when you when you can have time to enjoy doing them. And you know, there's I've never I don't think ever sat down and did a full color book page from start to finish in one sitting. Not on UStream and not in person. Maybe well, I shouldn't say never. There may have been one, like maybe a. One of the uh, Doodlers Anonymous ones, maybe. One that just didn't have a whole lot, you know, not a whole lot of time. Maybe three hours. <clears throat> okay, so there we go. All right, now let's come over here. And do this one. So we'll finish this banner anyway. So if anybody has any questions, I guess there's really not anything questions. It's kind of self-explanatory, <laughs> everything we've done. We did quite a bit today. And I'll be able to go to Jean's for about an hour until I figure out what I gotta make for dinner because the big salad's going with me to Denise's tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm not gonna make the big salad today. Maybe I'll find one little area, maybe it's hair or something, to shade one quick thing before we go.
I'm not sure. There's a pole right there. Okay, that's so it's a flag. Okay, so that there's a flag pole right there. So real quick, I think I'll go back to my water brush and do a little bit of do the wood of that flag pole. Oh wait, is that more? No, I think that's just leaves. I mean vines. You really like the peacock? Yeah, I, I won't probably work on any of that the rest of this week. So we'll get back to it all next week. The other stuff, the peacock. I, I did finish pretty much a 99% done with my red, um, the foxy red panda. Okay, so there we go, guys. It's just a little bit of, you know, this will be need more darkness. Let me just add a little, make that a little bit darker while I got it wet right here. So I don't know who's, who's uh, tweeting me. I'm not looking. Sarah's probably trying to tell me the colors. I'm not going to look, Sarah. See, I can feel it starting to peel, and I don't want it to go through, so i got to be careful. All right. I better stop. Well, because until I dry this to make sure I can put another layer on it, I don't want it to go through. Now you're stuck with just me at the helm. <laughs> oh, Vicki. Okay, bye, Vicki. Uh, I'm sure I miss saying bye to her. Okay, so um, let me, the hair's already dry. So real quick, I'm just going to get like a, a yellow ochre, maybe a tiny little brown. That's my yellow ochre. I know it was here because I was just using it. There it is. I want a yellow ochre and maybe a, not a rubber band. to see the colors because it's kind of dark. I got all the lights flashing in my eyes here. All right, let's just go with yellow ochre and what is this color? Ooh. Henna. We'll go with yellow ochre and henna. Well, I'll probably will need a light yellow too to blend. <clears throat> What color is that? Goldenrod? Can't tell. Yeah, it's pretty close. But I'll go with that and yellow. Yellow. This is not Prisma, but it's yellow. I'm just going to go with, I don't even know what this brand is. But I just need a yellow just to blend. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I think I'll take the henna for the shadowy, the darkest shadow. I'm going to finish this up real quick here. Hopefully y'all can see. I'm just going to add just a touch. I don't want his hair to get red or brown. Just that little bit of shadow. Okay. 
Okay. Then I'm going to go with the yellow ochre and blend that in. Keeping some of the lightest areas there for my bright yellow. Oh. <sighs> One moment, please. Just sharpen it enough. So again, thanks everybody for just hanging out. I know everybody enjoyed just chatting too, you know. It's not just about the streamer. It's about the streamies. <laughs> streamies! I like that. I think I'm going to put that in my book. My wingnut book. Streamies. <laughs> okay. Now I will take my yellow, brighter yellow and just kind of hit... A few little highlights here and there. Keeping some of those almost white areas. I mean, they're almost just the wash areas. Give it a little bit more realism. Okay, guys, so I think we're going to call it a day until jeans. <laughs> so thanks, everybody, for being here. And congratulations, MG, on getting Martha's print. Okay, so you can see, like, on the belts and everything, or let's just go over to the, the pole. So you can start getting in there with the color pencil, see, and shading on top of the wash, the neo color, or the in this case, you know, the blue, the acrylic paint. Just want to do a little bit of shading so you can kind of see where we're going. We girls get oh that's nice Orla. Oh that's sweet of you to say. So I will probably be tweeting from Denise's tomorrow. Well, I'm not going today, but you know, I'll I still try to keep in touch and tweet. Okay. There we go. So that's all I'm going to do right now. So hopefully... See how much we've done. And there's, like I said, there's no shading done on any of this yet. So you got to kind of imagine it because that's how we shaded it. <laughs> we didn't get any shading done. But it does take a while, you see, you know, it take, takes a while, and I'm going to get in there with the blue, and, you know. All right, guys, well, we will see you with jeans, and thanks for being here. <laughs> Bye, guys, thanks a lot. Team. Oh, her nickname, I mean, her nickname. I know. So thanks again. I will be writing her. She says she's on. She's here on streams. So, you know, we have like four Sharons, but it's none of those Sharons. So somehow I'm missing something or something. So anyway, her last 
No, Carrie, it is. Hang on, guys. So anyway, no, no. Okay, so thank you, Sharon, so much for that. And I will be sending you back some happy mail. Okay, I wanted to do a giveaway real quick. And so we are going to, because it's Christmas season, Christmas season, we're going to do a giveaway. It might flash out here, but this is one of Miss Martha's prints that she sent in the little mat. It's all wrapped up in plastic and everything. So we're going to do a giveaway real quick for all y'all sticking around. This is our third recording today. <laughs> so uh, uh, I'll upload them all to YouTube in a little while. So, okay. So I'm going to do the usual thing here, and let me just take a minute. Uh, let me find a little pen and stuff here. All right, so we are going to do between, don't do anything yet. Everybody just sit back, sit back for just a minute. But I'm going to, when you see me type in the word go, put in a number between 1 and 100, and I will bring up, random.org okay and we and it can be international it'll just fit in a flat envelope I'll mail it out to you if it's so uh, that's fine now if it gets lost in the mail I can't do anything about that okay I, I will ship this international, but, you know, if something happens, I can't, you know, it is what it is. I can't replace Miss Martha's print here. So, um, yeah. All right. So, let me go to my random dot org and get it ready. Okay, everybody, welcome back to, oh, I can't even get my coffee cup under there, I don't think. I'm really zoomed in because we're going to color in the Game of Thrones color book. So I hope we're going to be zoomed in good enough, well enough, for you to see some of this page. And let me preface it by saying I've not seen the shows, I've not watched any of the series, I've not read the books, I have no idea what colors they're supposed to be. I'm going to do it whatever I want because I'm the boss of my color book. <laughs> But first, we're going to start off, I want to say thank you to Sharon L. Um, and she sent me some happy mail, and she said, Hello, Dee Dee, I'm sending some, she's sending me some stamps so that you can keep sending out cards to make someone's day and bring a smile to their face. It's like getting a hug via snail mail. Thank you so much for all the inspiration and enabling that you have given me. You truly are an amazing and wonderful artist in person. See you on the next stream. Take care, Sharon L. Who, by the way, we cannot figure out who she, what her nickname is. So Sharon L, please forgive all of us for not knowing who you, your nickname is on Ustream. So, but she said, look at this, it's awesome. I love this card. So she said first, Gotta love arting with your favorite beverage, and it has this little pocket here, and then on this side, she's got all the different tea bags and teas, and she made these little teacups out of, like, the packaging, the packaging of um, teas, and she has the little tea, you know, the little uh, tea tags hanging off it. Isn't that so cute? But then... She sent me, she made a little, like a, a little coffee cup, and she put a little sleeve on it, and she sent like six or seven, I think set six or seven, three, four, five, seven books of stamps. She definitely wants to keep us sending cards. So thank you so much, Sharon L., and I will be writing her back. And, uh, yeah, so she wants to keep us in sending cards. Isn't that adorable? Love it. And so, you know, it came like this. 
And then on the other side was all the tea. So it was the tea and the coffee. I know. So thank you so much, Shannon, for the nice letter, too. And I feel terrible. I cannot know her name. Good. Okay. You can't believe it. Okay. <laughs> And I have other happy mail that I'll be sending out toward the end of the week after I get back from Denise's. <clears throat> so, yeah, because I'll be gone for, I'm going to go to Denise's tomorrow, I think so. But I do have a bunch of happy mail to get done <clears throat> this week, along with my Christmas cards, my personal family Christmas cards. Yeah, Jean said, I'll watch you do Christmas cards. She didn't understand. She, I meant addressing them. <laughs> thanks Lynn thanks guys for double checking for me it's, I scroll back but it keeps popping and popping for me so and I, I'm lucky just to have it stay steady okay so we are looking at the Game of Thrones coloring book and I've just, I'm really dropped the camera really low and zoomed in so hopefully we're focusing up. Now, again, I will not finish this page today. I will not finish it, but I thought I would just start a little bit. I have no plans. I have no idea. I don't know the colors of the their uh, thrones, you know, their family crest or their colors or any of that. I have no clue. I will be coloring them any color I want. This is Sir Loras. I have no idea if he has blonde hair, brown hair, um, and, you know, what red hair. I might put red hair on him. I have no idea. But I, it, that's not going to matter to me because I'm the boss of my color book. <laughs> I'm going to color it whatever color I want, okay? So if you are a Game of Thrones aficionado, have read all the books, seen all the shows, and you know the shades and hues mm. of every one of their outfits, don't email me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Jesus, well, you could just make a, a Christmassy art card and put a, it into a card base. I could do that for you, Miss Jean. I'll try, I'll try to do that for you, Jean. I will, you know what I should do? I will make some Christmas art cards. You know, just my like my little collage cards, Jean, in some like Christmassy colors or some snow or something and put up, stick them on a base and Miss Jean will get a Christmas card from me. Yes. I got to write it down though because I'll forget. <laughs> Miss Sassy Pants gets a that number in and then I'll type stop. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. So now we're going to, I know it's going to flash out, but we're going to do this here. Let's go ahead and bring up, all right, between, ooh, so close to the, okay, so here we go. Ready? We're going to hit generate. We're going to hit generate. And the number is 54. 54. So, whoever got closest to 54 without going over, and now i got to refocus my camera. Let's see here. Okay. I think it's still focused, hopefully. So, everybody can go double check the first person. Got to scroll all the way back to the beginning, and the first person closest to 54 without going over. Everybody, is Carrie and Vicki helping me? I don't know if Vicki's still here. Is Vicki still here? Yeah, she is. I'm scrolling too. Scrolling, scrolling. I see a 50, is that a 56? Am I? Seeing that right? Yeah, I see Satin Doll is 54. Satin Doll is 54 at the very beginning or toward the very beginning. I'm looking, I'm trying to keep my scroll locked. Hang on. Is there, 
I see a 54. No, she's 56. Okay, we have to be under 54. Okay, I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. All right, Mary and G. Did Mary and G get it? She, Mary and whoever's closest to 54 without going over. So Marion had 47. Is that right? Y'all double check for me. Am I right? Is it Marion G? Okay, so Marion G. All right. So Marion M G, you're going to get one of you're going to get uh, Miss Martha's print. We're all wrapped in plastic nicely. Okay. Are we good? Are we ready? I'm not going to, I'm not going to generate, I'm not going to generate a number until everybody puts a number in. Okay. There we go. Okay. So, and I know there's a lag, so I've tried to just, you know, say it and wait about 30 seconds or a minute before I do anything because I know there's a lag. So I'm going to type in the word go. When you see me type in the word go, Put a number between 1 and 100, one number only. The closest, without going over, will I will send Miss Martha's print to you for Christmas. So thanks, everybody, for being here. <laughs> I know, isn't she adorable? So Miss Martha shared some of her prints with us and a whole stack of cards. And uh, so, yeah. Okay. So everybody put in a number, and we'll give you plenty of time, plenty of time to put in a number. I got my coffee, got my coffee. <laughs> I'm really zoomed in, guys. The reason I'm really zoomed in is because, so that you can see when I start coloring this. Okay, I'll give you plenty of time. And, uh... Then when I type in the word stop, then we'll stop the chat and find um, who, I'll, I'll generate a number. I haven't generated a number yet, so everybody putting in their number, so I have no clue what the number's going to be yet. Between 1 and 100 without going over, one number only. It's always the same way. It's always the same way, so... What's Janet oopsing about? Yeah, Janet, 338 will not count. If you want to put in another number, Janet, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I know, they're all awesome, aren't they? Okay, I'm just going to give everybody another 30 seconds or so so you can hear the sound of my voice. All right, I'm not seeing any more numbers. Not seeing any more, okay. All right, put in a number, Twinster. Put in a number between 1 and 100. If you just got off the phone and didn't hear, put in a number. Last call for a number between 1 and 100. Yeah, I'll wait till she puts that.